Hey everyone, my name's Jenna. I just started my YouTube channel and the first playlist I wanted to do is going to be me reviewing books that I've read recently or ones that I've read in the past that I still remember a lot about. I'm going to start each video with a general overview for people that just want to know kind of what the book's about and if I thought it was good or not. And then after that, I'm going to get more into detail in the books for people that have read the book and want to know my opinion on it or people that don't plan on reading the book but still want to know the details about it. So the first book that I just finished reading a couple days ago is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I have read this book, this is the third time that I've read the first book and obviously my opinion of it would be that it's a really good book. It is more of a young adult book and I did read it the first time as a teenager so I'm not sure if I was reading it for the first time now that I'm 24 if I would find it as interesting as an adult versus reading it for the first time as a teenager. So keep that in mind if you're wanting a book that is more for adults. It's kind of leaned more towards teenagers. On the back it describes what the book's about so I'm not gonna go into that. I'll just kind of give my own overview. Um, it's basically a story about a boy who wakes up in a maze and he has to figure out with the group like how they're going to escape the maze. The other boys have been there before and he's the newest guy and they have to you know work together and at the start he doesn't really fit in with anybody like nobody likes him because he's new and he is kind of like they think he's suspicious of knowing things about the maze that that they don't and he really wants to become a maze runner which is somebody that goes out into the maze and explores to find the exit and they tell him like you can't do that because it takes a long time to work up to that being that level where you're allowed to go out of the maze go out into the maze i mean so it kind of goes into how they try to escape from this maze that's all i'm going to say for the basic overview because if i say anything more it's gonna give away too much of the story and then you won't want to read it because you'll have been spoiled by it now if you don't want to learn the more detailed version you should just read it for yourself and then come back and you can watch the rest of this video and let me know what you think in the comments after you've read it if you don't plan on reading it or you just want to know what i think of it you can stick around for the rest of this video so the first chapter i thought was really good he it kind of starts with like an unknown mystery so you're like already thinking like okay like what is happening with this guy already who is he what's happening with him like he wakes up in this elevator and it's moving and there's stuff all over the place it's dark he doesn't remember anything he doesn't even remember his name which i thought was good to like just throw you off right at the start of like okay like you already want to know at least what is this character's name so it kind of grabs you in that way i also liked when he gets to the glade that he isn't instantly popular or things like that like people don't like him when he gets there and a lot of people don't really like him for most of the book so that's nice because i feel like a lot of books the main character is like this popular perfect person or either either that or they you know this person does everything right and when thomas gets there he doesn't remember anything and people are already suspicious of him being a bad person and he's like well i haven't even been here for like two days like can i catch a break so i liked that he doesn't become popular right away and like even newt who eventually kind of becomes his ally in things later in the book doesn't really like him for quite a bit of the book so it's nice that it's not just he shows up and everybody follows him and he turns into this great leader instantly so that's good um i feel like it it was also good in that they had thomas like make mistakes and not know he, what he was doing and like the part where he goes and runs into the maze to save alby and minho because like he's brave in that but he's also stupid he should not have done that and i feel like a lot of people wouldn't probably have done that so 
that's like obviously like just a fiction thing but it does make it nice because it's like he gets out there and then he's like i actually didn't have a plan for being out here i also like the characters like the characters were good in that they weren't written as if they were some sophisticated like adult that knew like the way they talk in the book is pretty basic and like how normal people talk it's not just like all fancy and proper fancy pronunciation of things like they have their own kind of slang terms and they just get to the point basically when they're talking because they they're kind of in survival mode and they don't really care about people in the glade that much like they they care about their group but they aren't really I wouldn't say they're all friends like they just kind of coexist right in a way that they're able to all make things work I also did like in the book how it's like fast-paced there's not a lot of useless boring character development like the characters are well developed throughout the story by having them do things and communicate but it's not drawn out and like oh we have to go and like find ourselves and have a whole three or four chapters of just useless thoughts or interactions that don't really play out to the end or matter in the end the part that i didn't quite like was the part where um teresa the girl arrives and thomas goes and sees her with newt and then he can hear her thoughts i don't know the telepathy thing was a bit um like a cheap out for the author to use to make it easier for them to communicate without having to like explain it and have their first meeting be in person like it it worked for the story because people have weird things in their brain like they can't control like albie couldn't say anything any of his memories that he got after he went through the changing because he had something in his brain controlling him so like it it fits that way but I'm not a big fan of like telepathy in books. One thing I didn't like was that um, the relationships were a little bit shallow and I feel like that could be because it's like a teen read more so. Um, for example, for Newt, his best friend Albie like sacrifices himself in front of him and like you don't care and like you know they just seemed to be like oh my god that was so horrible wow and then they kind of were okay after that like I think it's just not well articulated in the book of like how devastating that would be and traumatizing for people like it just seems like oh yeah they just you know they got stabbed in the chest in front of me saving me and I just saw them bleed out and die in my arms no big deal the rest of the series I do have here I got these in hardcover so that's nice um, the next one is The Scorched Trials, so that's probably the next book that I'll be reviewing. It's the second book to The Maze Runner, and the only thing it says on the back is that The Maze was only the beginning, so that's kind of mysterious. Oh, but it also does have more detail in the middle there. Um, it's about the same length, I think, as or maybe a little longer than The Maze Runner, so that'll be the next one that I'll review for everybody. And then the third one is The Death Cure. By James Dasher, of course. And it says, The Time for Lies is Over on the back of that one. And then this one is the newest one, but it is the prequel. And it's, um, I think I've only read this one once, but I do remember it being really good. Um, I don't think, I wouldn't recommend, I would read this one last after you read the th first three. Even though it's the prequel, I think that it should be read last. This one would be a spoiler for this book because even though things happen before, you get an, a sense of the scorch. So like you wouldn't, like in the maze running, you don't know what the outside world's like at all, right? You have no idea why they're in this maze. Whereas this book explains kind of what's happening outside in the real world and what the, what, like what Wicked is for. So if you read this one, you're going to find all that out and then you're going to read this and be like, okay, I know why they're in the maze. If I was going to rate this on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the Harry Potter series, 
and zero being like the worst book you've ever read. I give this like a seven and a half, eight ish um, for the first book itself. Um, it was good. It's like an adventure, mystery, um, light reading, fast paced reading all in one. And if you have any opinions on the book yourself, if you've read it or if you plan to read it, you can let me know in the comments below. If you have a favorite character or a character that you don't like, you can let me know in the comments as well because you can explain to me like why you like them or if you didn't like Teresa like I didn't like her, you can let me know too. And if you read the book or you plan to read the book, you can hit that like button too. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.